We all know that oils are essential for our health, whether they are used for cooking, salads, or any of their other potential uses, oils are a staple of our modern diets. But did you know that not all oils are created equal? Seed oils, in particular, are very unhealthy. In this video, we're going to share with you the six reasons why seed oils are unhealthy, and why you should avoid them. If you enjoy content about how to maximize your health naturally, please consider liking and subscribing to this video so that healthy living can go viral. We would appreciate it. So, here are the top 6 reasons why seed oils are making you sick. If you stick around to the end of the video, we will also tell you about 3 incredible oils that you should be using because they'll bring you great health benefits. So, here are the top 5 reasons why seed oils are terrible for you. 1. Seed oils are highly processed. Hexane is a volatile organic compound, VOC, that is not safe for human consumption. In fact, it can be extremely toxic to your health if it is ingested or inhaled in high concentrations. So, it is important to understand the potential health risks associated with consuming seed oils that are extracted using hexane. The process of hexane extraction involves subjecting the oil to a chemical solvent, which binds to and extracts the oil from the source material. The extracted oil is then filtered, bleached, and deodorized to produce the final oil product. The process of hexane extraction typically leaves behind some residual hexane and other chemical compounds, which can be harmful to your health. In addition to the potential health risks associated with hexane extraction, there are also environmental concerns. Hexane is a VOC, which means it can contribute to air pollution. Furthermore, the process of hexane extraction requires a lot of energy and produces a lot of waste that can be damaging to the environment. 2. Seed oils contain high levels of omega-6 fatty acids. The health benefits of seed oils have been widely known and discussed for many years. However, recent research has revealed that seed oils may contain high levels of omega-6 fatty acids, which can be highly inflammatory. While omega-6s are essential fatty acids, they can be overly abundant in some diets and can lead to a number of negative health issues. Omega-6 fatty acids are polyunsaturated fatty acids found in plant-based foods, such as nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils. While omega-6s are essential for proper bodily function, they can become problematic when consumed in excess. Omega-6s are known to be pro-inflammatory, meaning that they can increase inflammation in the body. This can lead to a range of health issues, including diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Seed oils, such as sunflower, safflower, and cottonseed oils, are a common source of omega-6 fatty acids. These oils are often used in cooking and baking and are even found in some processed and packaged foods. Not surprisingly, seed oils can contain high levels of omega-6s, with some containing up to 45% more than other cooking oils. Recent research has highlighted the potential danger of consuming too many omega-6 fatty acids. For example, a study published in the British Journal of Nutrition found that people who consumed diets high in omega-6s had a greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Other studies have found that diets high in omega-6s can increase the risk of certain cancers and heart disease. Given the potential health risks of consuming too much omega-6s, it is important to be aware of the sources of omega-6s in your diet. Eating a balanced diet that is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and low in omega-6s can help reduce your risk of developing chronic health conditions. 3. Seed oils can damage cells and contribute to aging. Seed oils are an important part of the human diet. They are highly nutritious and contain essential fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. However, seed oils are also highly susceptible to oxidation. Oxidation occurs when oxygen interacts with the polyunsaturated fatty acids in the seed oils. This reaction causes the formation of free radicals, which can damage cells and contribute to aging. Oxidation of seed oils can happen in a variety of ways. One of the most common is exposure to sunlight, heat, or air. When these factors react with the polyunsaturated fatty acids in the oil, they create new compounds called peroxides. These compounds are unstable, and as they break down they create free radicals. Free radicals can damage cells and cause oxidative stress. 
Oxidative stress is a type of damage that can harm the cells in our bodies. It can contribute to the onset of chronic illnesses such as heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. It can also accelerate the aging process. In addition, when free radicals damage our cells, they can also cause inflammation in the body. 4. Seed oils contain trans fats. Trans fats are created when food manufacturers add hydrogen to vegetable oils, a process known as hydrogenation. The purpose of this is to make the oil more solid and durable, so it can be used for a longer period of time before spoiling. Unfortunately, this process also creates trans fats, which are known to have negative health effects. Trans fats increase bad LDL cholesterol while decreasing good HDL cholesterol. They also increase the risk of developing heart disease and stroke, and can even lead to obesity and type 2 diabetes. The American Heart Association recommends that people should avoid trans fats altogether, as they can be very dangerous to our health. When it comes to seed oils, you should be aware that some of them may contain trans fats. This is especially true for seed oils that have been heated, such as sunflower and safflower oils. If you're using these oils in your cooking, be sure to read the labels carefully and avoid those that contain trans fats. Seed oils are high in saturated fat, which can also be harmful to your health. Saturated fats can raise your bad cholesterol levels and increase your risk of heart disease. Olive oil and avocado oil are both good sources of healthy fats, and they should be used in place of seed oils whenever possible. 5. Seed oils can cause the formation of free radicals. Oxidation is a natural chemical process that occurs when a substance combines with oxygen. In the case of seed oils, oxidation can occur when they are heated to high temperatures. When this happens, it can break down the oil's molecular structure, leading to the formation of free radicals. Free radicals can damage cell membranes and DNA, leading to cell damage and premature aging. However, not all seed oils are created equal when it comes to oxidation. Some seed oils, like olive oil and sesame oil, are more resistant to oxidation than others. Olive oil, in particular, can be heated to higher temperatures without breaking down, making it an ideal choice for high temperature cooking. On the other hand, some seed oils, such as sunflower oil, can become damaged more easily at high temperatures. Therefore, it's important to select the right seed oil for the cooking method you're going to use. For high temperature cooking, such as stir frying or deep frying, it's best to use a more oxidation resistant oil, like olive oil. No matter what kind of seed oil you use, it's important to remember that exposure to heat can increase its oxidation rate. Therefore, it's important to store your seed oils in a cool, dark place, and to replace them regularly. It's also important to measure out the amount of oil you need for the recipe before you start cooking to avoid overheating the oil. Don't forget that one of the healthiest oils is the algorithm oil, which is created by you clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. They help to create a healthier YouTube. Cooking with the right type of oil can help ensure that your meals are as healthy as possible. There are a variety of oils available on the market, and each one has its own unique advantages and disadvantages. When it comes to healthy cooking, it's important to choose an oil that is not only healthy but also has a high smoke point. This will help prevent the oil from breaking down and releasing toxic compounds when heated. Here, we'll discuss the healthiest oils to cook with for optimal health. Extra virgin olive oil. When it comes to choosing a cooking oil, extra virgin olive oil is a popular choice due to its rich flavor and many health benefits. This oil is made from the first cold pressing of olives, which gives it a unique flavor and quality that you won't find in other oils. Extra virgin olive oil is high in monounsaturated fat, which has been found to protect against heart disease and stroke. It can also help reduce inflammation, lower cholesterol, and even help with weight loss. These benefits make it an ideal choice for those looking to improve their health. In addition to its health benefits, extra virgin olive oil has a high smoke point of 410 degrees Fahrenheit, making it a great choice for sautéing, baking, and even deep frying. It won't break down into harmful compounds at high temperatures like other oils, so you can cook with peace of mind. Whether you're looking to improve your health or just want to add some delicious flavor to your dishes, extra virgin olive oil is an excellent choice. Its health benefits, high smoke point, and great flavor make it a top choice for cooking. 
Avocado oil. Avocado oil is also a great choice for cooking. It's high in heart healthy monounsaturated fat and has a smoke point of 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only that, but it's also rich in antioxidants and vitamins, making it a great choice for a variety of dishes. It's a healthy, tasty, and versatile oil that can add flavor and a nutritional boost to any meal. It's high in monounsaturated fat, which is known to be beneficial for heart health. It also contains several vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, including vitamin E, potassium, and lutein. These components can help to protect your cells from damage and reduce inflammation. Avocado oil also has a higher smoke point than other oils, so it's ideal for high heat cooking. It won't break down or create toxic fumes like some other cooking oils, making it a great choice for dishes that require a high cooking temperature. As far as taste goes, avocado oil has a mild, nutty flavor that pairs well with many dishes. It's a great oil for sauteing, baking, and even dipping. You can even use it as a finishing oil to add a little bit of flavor and a nutritional boost to salads. Overall, avocado oil is a very healthy and versatile oil. Whether you're looking for an alternative to traditional cooking oil or just want to give your dishes an extra nutritional boost, avocado oil is definitely worth considering. Its high smoke point makes it great for high heat cooking, and its mild, nutty flavor is perfect for a variety of dishes. Plus, it's rich in antioxidants and vitamins, making it a great choice for keeping your cells healthy. Coconut oil. Coconut oil has long been a popular choice for cooking due to its unique flavor and health benefits. It is high in saturated fat and its smoke point of 350 degrees Fahrenheit makes it an excellent choice for baking, sauteing, and frying. Coconut oil is also high in lauric acid, which has antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory effects. Lauric acid helps to prevent the growth of harmful bacteria, fungi, and viruses. It is also thought to help reduce inflammation and milder forms of pain. In addition to its cooking benefits, coconut oil can also be used as a moisturizer and makeup remover. It is a natural antioxidant, which helps to protect your skin from free radicals. Coconut oil can also help to reduce wrinkles, improve the skin's firmness and elasticity, and even help to treat skin conditions such as eczema. When cooking with coconut oil, it's important to keep in mind that it has a low smoke point. This means that it's best to use it at low or medium heat. When exposed to high temperatures, coconut oil can break down and create harmful byproducts. Coconut oil is also a great addition to baking recipes. It adds a subtle flavor to cakes, cookies, muffins, and other baked goods. When using coconut oil in place of butter or other oils, it's important to adjust the recipe accordingly since coconut oil is more solid at room temperature. Overall, coconut oil is a great choice for cooking due to its unique flavor and health benefits. However, it's important to keep in mind that it has a low smoke point and should be used at lower temperatures. For those looking to reap the benefits of coconut oil, it's worth giving it a try. There you have it. The top 5 reasons seed oil is terrible for you and a list of the 3 best oils you can use to cook. Would you be replacing any of the oils in your cupboard after watching this video? If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe so that health can go viral. I hope you enjoy this content. Stay tuned for more videos on how to improve your health. Eat well. Live long.